All right, guys. So yeah, look what Santa Claus delivered today. It is my brand new Pure Poly Phenom, and I've just literally taken it out of the box and taken all the plastic wrap of it. Uh, the packaging was really good. Doesn't appear to be any damage to the exterior. Uh, double box with lots of foam padding and lots of foam padding inside as well from the looks everything seems good it's a pretty hefty guy um, luckily the TNT fella that delivered it um, Gary his name was was kind enough to Give me a hand to bring in the printer. So let's. Alright, guys, so I've unpacked the Phantom from the box and it comes with a quick checklist. Pretty handy. Um, removed all the stickers and we're gonna take a look at what's inside the phenom box so I ordered an extra LCD screen just more packing more packing pretty nicely packed okay so we've got power supply, some scrapers, tools, USB drive, gloves, uh, knob for the plate, scraper, Australian power plug, and extra fed film. Excellent. Got the giant <laughs> plate in here. Now that I should say, and then we've got the plate here. So here is the phenom. Pretty sweet. Alright guys, so just some uh, housekeeping stuff before I get the printer up and running. Um, what I generally like to do is um, clean up the rails of any of uh, lubricants and dirt and then clean the LCD. So I cleaned the LCD first and uh, I did that with a piece of microfiber cloth the ones that you find in sunglasses cases and uh, with a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol on top and just gently cleaned up the LCD so now it's nice and clean and then I'll do that first and then cover it with a piece of uh, another microfiber cloth and so the next thing I'll do is uh, with a paper towel, I will uh, put a little bit of uh, IPA on there as well and just go in and then clean up the linear rails. And get your finger in there and uh, you can see it's quite dirty. So, I mean, that's quite normal, obviously. Uh, but uh, I don't know what lubricant um, they've used on this but I like to use my own and the lubricant I use on all my printers is this stuff WD-40 dry PTFE lubricant okay so don't just get don't just use WD-40 because it's not a lubricant but you need to uh, but uh, WD-40 is a brand and they sell this special stuff called dry PDFE and it's a really good lubricant 
Uh, it's non-greasy, so it doesn't attract dirt as much. And uh, yeah, I use it on all my printers. So give that a go. Um, Alright guys, <clears throat> so I'm about to do my first level on the Phenom and I've just installed the VAT now when you get your Phenom the uh, the Z axis will be too low to fit in the VAT and the plate so what you need to do is actually just move up the uh, the Z assembly now these instructions are in the manual but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just show you guys how to get to it in the menu. So if you hit tool and then just go to manual and then select the increment you want to move up in. So I've got it set to 10 at the moment. Just press up and that's going to raise. Each time you press it, that's going to raise the Z assembly. Okay, so that's how you move the uh, the Z assembly up before you can install the plate and the VAT. So, in order to level, you need to make sure that all four screws on the plate are loose, and basically your plate. It's literally just free hanging from these four screws. Okay, and then what you want to do is go back into the menu and again go to tool, manual, and then press the home button. So the plate's going to start moving down. And it's going to stop a couple of millimeters just above the Z, zero, which is your level. Okay, so you can see that uh, if I move the plate, the hinge is still free floating. And that's what you want to do. Okay, and now it is actually the plate is just sitting nice and flush and level onto the vat, and then that is your zero or your level position. So then, what you need to do is tighten these four screws gently one by one to a finger tight width do is holding each corner down tighten up each of the screws and that's gonna get you to the correct level and once you've done that Go back and hit the set zero set z equals zero. And you hit continue. Let's try that again. Confirm. And that's it. So that's gonna now be your zero z equals zero. And that's your level.